Stan, how are you? Fine. Finish? Hello? Is this Stanley Jobson, Social Security number 669-54-7311? Yes. I'm calling from Credit Swedish Grand Canyon to notify you that there has just been a transfer of 10 million US dollars into a new account in your name. That was a promise. Thanks. So, I'm done then. Soon. Walk with me. I'm going to do something against my better judgment. I'm going to tell you who I am. No need. I already know. Do you? I think that you think that I'm a bank robber. Truth is, I'm just like you. Just like me, huh? Mm-hmm. No, because you're a murderer. That I am and worse. Much worse. But I do have ethics. Rules that I adhere to. Listen, I don't know why the fuck you're telling me all this. Well, if you listen to me, then you will know. You asked me who those men were, and I'm going to tell you. Jackie Hoover started a secret organization in the 1950s called Black Cell, just to protect the freedoms of this country at all costs. I don't care about any of this. The only thing I care about is getting my daughter back. I'm talking about your daughter. I'm talking about you, your daughter, and 200 million other Americans who take their freedoms for granted. You don't understand what it takes to protect those freedoms. That's my job, Stanley, to protect your way of life. So you and your band of lunatics are stealing all this money just to protect little old me. Right, Stanley, because wars cost money. Who are we at war with? Anyone who avenges on America's freedom. Terrorist state, Stanley. Someone must bring their war to them. They bomb a church, we bomb 10. They hijack the plane, we take out an airport. They execute an American tourist, we tactically nuke an entire city. Our job is to make terrorism so horrific that it becomes unthinkable to attack Americans. You're not going in on the phone lines. You're going into the fucking banks. And you're coming with us. This will all be over in 24 hours. You're a rich man, Stanley. Pretty soon, you'll be on a yacht with your daughter, living a good life, eating bonbons, the American dream. And just think, in the end, you have done your part in ensuring Americans' way of life. You're a hero, Stanley. No, no, don't worry, let him go, he'll be back. Alright everybody, let's put a move on, let's go. Now this is the part when they was on the bus. Alright ladies and gentlemen, this bus is your new holding area. Do not test the limitations of your collar, this will all be over before you can say cat in the hat. How can you justify all this? You're not looking at the bigger picture, Stanley. Here's a scenario. Let's say you had the power to cure all the diseases in the world, but the price for this is that you must kill a single innocent child. Could you kill that child, Stanley? Nope. You disappoint me. It's for the greater good. How about 10 innocents? Now you're getting my point. How about 100? How about 1,000? Not to save the world, but to preserve our way of life. No man has the right to make that decision. You're no different than any other terrorist. You're wrong, Stanley. Thousands of people die every day for no reason. Where's your bleeding heart for them? You give $20 to Greenpeace every year thinking you're changing the world? What countries will harbor terrorists when they realize what the consequences of what I'll do? Did you know that I can buy nuclear warheads in mint for 40 million each? Hell, I'll buy half a dozen and even get a discount. And that's it.